Well, all right. What up, y'all? It's your boy Van, and coming back with another late leave video, I guess. So, I guess hopefully it's not going to be the norm. But these are the hats I wore for the month of June. So it was pretty much near the end of July. Um, you know, the Olympics a year later are happening. So um, I'm watching the opening ceremonies right now. But um, late at night locally but um anyways let's get right to it these are the hats i wore for the month of june 2021 i'm um, starting with june 1st so let's get right to it this one right here is um a hall of fame seersucker five panel hat essentially so it's in like the mint and green almost but it was striped so five panel camper hall of fame there's that i went this kind of pop out for a second. That's why I can put these hats back in the bag. Uh, in the hat club bags, duffel bags. This is like the OG one, so this one better um, than the newer ones, but this is what it is. This is a vintage um, McDonald's um, work, work hat. So this is the hat that I wore in 90, yeah, this is the, I worked at McDonald's. This is my first, uh, job back in 99 so this is from yeah that time um for some reason i just kept it it's in pretty good condition actually but you know it's a mcdonald's hat so yeah it's a work hat too so oddly enough it is what it is <clears throat> next one here is um well, this is an ebay purchase but it's a Seattle Sonics um, two-tone with alternate um, colors. It's pretty much you see it predominantly in the green or maybe the color slip. But I like the fact that it is uh, with the maroon burgundy print. But it is, um, oh, actually, this is not the vintage one. So um, I thought, no, I have the vintage snapback, but that's late. But yeah, this is just a fitted, um, the fitted version. No logo on the back. Um, was an eBay purchase, but, um, like, early 2000s fitted, so, um. Next one is this, uh, Chicago Bulls with the gold, um, it almost has, like, that glossy look on the brim for the gold, but, um, I got this in, uh, Buffalo, um, because at the time, Pretty much the only Chicago Bull fit it, or hats in general with, with the Windy City versions. And I, I don't care for those, but this one's a cleaner aesthetic, but it has also the bull, the logo on the back as well. Bulls, um, black and gold. So, the classic logo. And the theory about the whole alien, if you flip the logo upside down, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> this one is a, <clears throat> excuse me. This one right here is a Korea souvenir hat. Um, actually, it's my my homie's parents actually got this when they visited here um, a number of years ago, and they knew I was into hats, so they just got this for me when they were in Korea as a, like a gift. So, um, shouts to uh, the parents. Um, this is a souvenir hat. It's velcroed on the back. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it in public, but it's what it is. It's cool. It's a set, it's a sentimental uh, gift for sure. So means a lot. Um, this is a Phoenix Suns, uh, like a wavy logo or a wavy word mark snap. This is just a snapback, two tone snapback essentially that I got years years ago with the vintage uh, Phoenix Suns logo. Um, definitely wore this after, um, Phoenix beat the Lakers, because I wore it, and my friend is a Laker fan, and he gave me a hard time about it, but whatever, so, you know, they lost in the finals, but I'm, I'm cool with the Bucks winning it too, so all good in the hood for the <clears throat> championship. This one's a clinky, um, or clink room, clinky Kong. Pencil number two, um, 2.0. So, um, late last year, or early this year, 
uh, Clink Room, which is known for uh, having graphic designers or whatnot make their own custom hats um, in collaboration with Clink Room. So they were, I was able to just get this one because, I don't know, it's just an, the, the, the Clinky Kong guy and the uh, number two pencil is just good representation. So um, as far as like my profession, which, you know, work in the education healthcare field. So <clears throat> there's that. Um, this one's a Supreme Jacquard. Um, like, it's faint. It might be a little hard to see, but you can see it has Supreme, like, all the words, word mark, like, all around the, all throughout the hat, all over the hat. Um, it's in red. I probably could have got a different, should have got a different color, but whatever it is what it is. It's, uh, just a bucket, so. Crusher, you know. Not a boonie, but it's a cr yeah, it's a bucket hat. <clears throat> Got it from Supreme. Uh, Seattle Seahawks. I forget which year, but it's like the two thousand mid, two thousand fifteen, around that time. So we'll go with that. Um, this train camp visor. Uh, got this from Hatland.com. Um, team colors. Um, obviously it's just a visor, so there's nothing on the top. see next one um this one I, <clears throat> yeah this one i got from bait um order online this is this adidas like uh i forget what the actual official name of it it's like a tri-block right this is a running cap essentially or it's a consortium running cap so um hits a 3m leave on the logo and then just like in um, red, white, and blue color, so it's more French to me as far as the colorway goes, but whatever. Just a nice, simple running cap from Adidas. So, wearing it for some time with the Velcro there. <clears throat> um, essentially a mystery hat. I don't even know where I got this one from, but it's from a mystery box like over 10 years ago. But, anyways. Um, it's almost like a, it's like a poly, poly, polyurethane, so like synthetic leather, leather, whatever, but, um, you know, this is kind of a gra graffiti graphic, uh, abstract art. It's actually from 5024 SF Gallery, so it's just like an art gallery spot, but they had collaboration, they had a few collaborations with, uh, you know, and... This is one of the designs. I think I have another one from the gallery, but like I, it's from a mystery set, so probably didn't sell well, but that's why I got as far as like a mystery bag or mystery box. Um, Supreme, I forget how to, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like a bolche, I guess, but it's just essentially just like a um, cotton you know, multicolored yarn design. Pretty cool design. Got in a tan colorway. Five handle camper. Um, <clears throat> box logo joint. You know, the reason the reason I do like the box logos is like because they always uh, do like different materials, and I try to gravitate more so those than you know this is regular five panel joint. So. When I can, and it's a little different, I'll try to cop that So for each season. That was probably from like three years ago, but, you know. After a while, they all kind of blend in. This is one of my older hats. Um, probably from Hatland.com. Um, Milwaukee Brewers Pinwheel Joint. Um, as, as a matter of fact, this is pretty much semi-retired. Um, it's a 714, which pretty much I outgrown. I can still wear it, but it is really snug. But... Pinwheel, um, iconic Brewers Glove logo in the um, OG colorways. So they did rebrand it. They kind of, um, you know, they bring back the logo, but you know, darker. It's like a different sh shade of blue and all that. So speaking of Olympics, uh, although this is more for the men's U national U.S. This is for the U.S. soccer team, national soccer team. Um, so for both men's and women's and um, I remember I did get a hat similar to this, but it was like the weave 
brim, but that was too small. So I had to return that. Year two later, whatever, Hat Club came out with this version, and that's why it has the Hat Club pin right there. Um, but yeah, this representation of the U.S. Men's, so men's and Women's Soccer Team, whatever. U.S. flag, so um, Olympics come in, Olympics happening right now, although a year later, so the next one will be in Paris in 2024, so be a weird little reset, but um, yeah, go Team USA. Here's a hat that I would want to say I probably purchased on in the Mariners team store years, a number of years, uh, a couple of years ago, not a number, but it's a number. But, uh, yeah, this is a couple years back. State logo, um, state with the team logo, and also has the city on the underbrim right there. Um, team logo on the side. And then, yeah, this is kind of just a representation of the state of Washington. So, go Mariners. It is one tonight. And, you know, while I don't believe they'll make the playoffs this year, they have, they have been looking pretty decent, so pitching is always an issue, but it is what it is. Next is uh, some from my fitteds, a OG ver o from yesteryear, over 10 years ago, but they were selling snapbacks. So, as you see, it's from uh, one of my favorite cartoons growing up, Voltron. Um, has a Voltron in form with his blazing sword. It has this, uh, the patch for the, has this crest on the side, snapback, and then this, uh, character image, um, there, so. You know, I did see the reboot on Netflix years ago. Hopefully they'll come up with a live action version, but we'll see how that plays out. Um, I'm gonna hop over the other side, just wanna make sure it's still recording, so. I'm still around, but you know, you just never know with these things. Okay, it's looking all good so far. I'm just going to sit back down onto the next. Uh, this is a New Balance running cab. I don't know what the actual name of the style is, but um, you know, subtle hits with the three M reflective on the logo as well as that's us on the strap of the on the back. Um, it is like buckled enclosure, so um, yeah, that's a standard. I got this at the New Balance outlet store, probably because I don't know where else I would get a New Balance hat, honestly. So there's that. Um, this next hat here is like a it's not Panama, um, or I guess it is Panama. This is a a straw Panama cap. Um, it is a collaboration with uh, Stefan Janowski and uh, Mia Skate Shop, as well as Official Brand. So, this is where I got the hat from, Official Brand. I think it was like 20 bucks. So, um, just wanted this just a straw, summer, you know, summertime type of hat. Casual with the, I like the stripe, but um, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, there's that. And getting down to the last few for the month of June. This one's a Seattle Mariner snapback two tone with the chenille, um, you know, like the varsity patch fuzzy feeling material on the front compass logo, and then there's a compass logo on the side there. It's a snapback, so a major. Um, this one I did get at the Mariners team store on a, what is it, Ch Chambry? Um, yeah, two tone fitted hat with kind of the light um, sea glass on the brim, as well as like the denim like material, Chambry. So it was cotton, it's light, flowy. And it, it looks cool. Something different. It definitely hits with the actual team logo for the Mariners there. So it's good. Got that at the team store. Got this at a Nike outlet. Um, you know, I believe this is a tailwind version. But yeah, it's a tailwind, dry fit. It's, you know, regular, regular Nike with the Velcro enclosure. Um, somewhere for the summertime or for a run. 
Um, this one I got years ago from eBay. And, you know, considering the price point, I got pretty decent. It was like 10 bucks. Although this was like a giveaway from, you know, years ago. So it has a Sonics logo on the top. It's a painter's cap, so you wear it with the visor up. Um, and yeah, at the time you had the Bud, Budweiser <laughs> sponsorship as well. So definitely vintage for sure. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of my no more unique hats, but also, you know, a great way to represent the team. Sonics forever. Um, hopefully they come back, you know. I was predicting they'd be back at 2023, but, you know, maybe they'll be in that, they'll be given the team in, tw in that time. So, still got a couple years left, but, you know, I don't expect much at this point. Um, here's a hat that I got gifted to me by um, New Era directly as part of the Career Era 13 experience. So, you know, with the New Era there, and then it has Buffalo, you know, Buffalo graphics as part of the camel design. So, um, yeah, it's kind of, and then like, yeah, I remember at first, like, I didn't realize those Buffaloes. Um, print all over around it but yeah I, it's a camel it's pretty simple but it's, a, it's more of a sentimental thing because it reminds me of the whole experience and all the cool people that got me along the way so uh, most of them I keep in touch still so with social media that's probably one of the good things about social media is like you get a network and get to meet people that are like-minded and all that so definitely a good experience there uh purchased this recently uh you know, I, I got it at the beginning of June, but I think I bought it. Whatever. Um, but it's a Father's Day on-field cap, so it has a blue ribbon right there. Um, it's hard to see, maybe, but, like, the logo is, like, a hit. It's, like, it's actually, the S is actually, like, a light blue there, so. I remember online, I almost passed on this hat just because I thought the logo was too, I thought it was just, the regular team logo with this the ribbon but yeah it's subtle and also i got jersey the go mariners jersey to go with it that's in the light blue so that's the reason i pulled the trigger there but i got on new era website not um other places i probably should have got there um another hat that i got from new era.com um last year was this um, Jersey Hocus for the, I forget the name, Nightfall, I think. But, like, yeah, it's essentially just a pink and black. Um, their jersey alternative that they wore for that year. Um, but, yeah, um, most other places were selling it as a snapback version. But with New Era, they sell it as a fitted. So, that's the reason I got that. And I do like the look of it. I didn't get the jersey, but... Um, Probably won't at this point, honestly, unless I get a really good deal. But I do like the hat, um, like the stripes and all that. This just gives me the, the Brett and the Hitman heart vibes, so. Alright, near the end here, near the end. Next one here is just a five panel cap from uh, Mishka, New York. So, um, pretty colorful with the blues and the greens and it's just the deaf adders which is kind of I guess one of their slogans or whatever so um yeah I got this at a inventory <laughs> clearance so I think this how yeah this how was like five bucks so you know it was nice nice deal and you know it was a good camper hat so probably one of my beater hats I will say that and as far as like I'll, I could just wear it wherever and not really um worry about it getting dirty or whatever um here's a supreme uh ripstop nylon hat and the cool thing about this hat i don't know if the light's hitting it but it is a 3m reflective hat so it does have this little hook right here as well on the back on the rear just a five panel camper um with this um the ballistic mesh points so, make it breathable. So, yeah, kind of a cool functioning cap right there. And if I want to 
Am I gonna hook it to like a carabiner or something? Yeah, there it is. Um, this one I have, yeah, this one's another kind of OG one, but Seattle Seahawks, um, 2014, I want to say. Yeah, it's definitely 2014, maybe 2013, but it's just a training camp bucket hat with the drawstring right here. Um, definitely, um, uh, wore this hat often, especially during the summertime when it's hot, but it still, still works, so. It's a little dirty just because my head, so on some spots. I could clean it on the inside, but it's whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's that one. And then, last two for the month um, Hall of Fame's Mystery Box, or it came, or I just got to order because it was cheap, but Camo Mesh Hat uh, right here. It's. Uh, has like an innuendo to say the least, so I'm not gonna really repeat it, but you can see it. But yeah, this kind of this is a little different from Hall of Fame. Shout out to them. So Hall of Fame limited or whatever, but they sell some stuff. And then this one is a Rocksmith. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where exactly, but like where is something in Rocksmith? I got I picked this hat in particular. That was probably it could be a mystery box as well, but just to play on the L, the Raiders. I want I almost said L A, but it's a Vegas. But it's just Raiders. It's just a play on the Raiders uh, logo. So instead of the Raiders, it's Ninja. So it has a Ninja guy there, and then yeah, it's just in the gray, gray and black, Rocksmith snapback. So. And that's the last day of June. It is probably my bedtime at this point because I was feeling tired and, you know, by the clock and all that. And I've been up since six. But, um, you know, I did take a nap. But, you know, it's usually how it works. So. But, yeah, man. Um, you know, hopefully I'll put the video up. I still need to do, like, the Magisto quick clip video as well. And then I'll have to do one for July, like, next week. Because, you know, end of July is coming up and getting down to it. But, yeah, I'm definitely getting more hats along the way. And just need, starting to need to figure out, really, like, as far as, like, how to store Because I'm kind of running out of space. And I don't want to really give my hats away. But it's looking like it could be a thing. But we'll see how that goes. But anyways, um, yeah, man. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you guys can catch up on previous videos. Um, if you like the format, let me know. If you want me to see if I can switch it up somehow, go back to like this talking about one hat at a time. So we don't have to like, you guys don't have to watch these half hour videos. Yeah, that'd be good to know. But, you know, it's also hard to need to like really put or invest more into this because... It's just time consuming, honestly. I still do these videos, but it's more like on a whim. So when I feel like doing them, I'll do them. But I'm trying to stay like on top of things. But um, yeah, I do have trips coming up too. So we'll see how that plays out with these uh, videos. And also follow on the social medias, Twitter, IG, ones I really use, um, Family23. Um, tell that it's your boy. And we're out. Peace.